your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Telephone plus 256-753-80-2709. Today, 27th October 2020, we are going to study genetics. Genetics is a branch of biology that explains the similarities and the differences between the parents and their offspring. Terminologies. A gene is the basic unit of hereditary and occupies a discrete position on a chromosome. In other words, a gene has got an address on a chromosome. A gene controls the production of enzymes that determine the processes that go on in a cell and eventually in an organism. In the sexually reproducing organism, genes occur in pairs, one contributed by the male parent and another contributed by a female parent. Allelos or allelomorphs. An allelo is one of a pair of a gene that occupies the same locus on a chromosome or the same position on a chromosome. Either this one occupies or another one occupies that position. Allelos are genes that are responsible for production of contrasting characteristics such as shortness and tolerance. Genotype. This is the genetic constitution of an organism, i.e. the particular set of allelos leading to observable characteristics. For example, if T represents a gene gene for toleness and T represents a gene for shortness. We say that gene or kind of pair. One parent may have a set of gene which is a TT. Another person may have a gene TT. Then another person may have a gene TT. So the genetic constitution of an organism is what we call genotype. Phenotype. This is the physical characteristic of an organism determined by the genotype and the environment. Monohybrid inheritance. This is an inheritance concerned with a single pair of contrasting characteristics. Grigo Mendo, the first person to study genetics, observed that in the first video generation, one of the characteristics never appeared, only to appear in the second video generation in a small proportion compared to the one that appeared in the first video generation. For example, when he crossed peas with long internodes, with that of short internode, he observed that in F1 generation, all of the plants had long internodes. When he left to produce F2 generation, these with short internodes appeared in a small proportion with those of long internodes. This is the internode, the distance between this leaf and that leaf. Another internode is this one, another internode is this one, another internode is that one. That's to say, when 
a closed piece with long internodes with those of short internodes. The children, which is F1 generation, all had long internodes. When the children were allowed to intermarry, the grandchildren, which is F2 generation, had long internodes and short internodes. But grandchildren with short internodes were fewer compared to the grandchildren with long internodes. The results of the course above can be illustrated as follows that when a parent, one with a long internal and one with a short internal was crossed, all the children, if one generation, had piece of long internals. When the piece in the F1 generation were allowed to cross, the F2 generation or the grandchildren had peas with long internodes and peas with short internodes in a ratio 3 to 1. It was concluded from the results that inheritance is a process in which discrete structures or particles and bracket genes which may show or may not show themselves in outward appearance of an organism are transmitted from parents to offspring. For example, the gene for short internet did not show itself in F1 generation but showed itself in F2 generation. So the gene for tall internet and the gene for short internodes we are transmitted from the parent to the offspring. The characteristic that showed itself in the F1 generation, in this case, toro internodes, is said to be dominant. While that what was masked in the F1 generation, in this case, short internod, is said to be recessive. Genes and their transmission. Genes normally occur in pairs, each of which is contributed by each parent. A cross of peas with long internode with that of a P with short internode is shown below. Usually, genes of the same traits are represented by the same later. But a gene for dominant trait is represented by a capital letter and a gene for recessive trait is represented by a smaller letter. In this case, capital T represents a gene for long internet, smaller T represents a gene for short internet. So the course is going to be as for parent phenol type. We have seen that one parent is long internode was crossed with a parent of short inter internode parent geno type. We say that one has good genes for Dominant trait, long internode is the dominant trait, so it carries the capital T. Is crossed with a parent with a recessive gene. Gametes, either sperms all over, polynegrin all over. We will have all of them here with a capital trait, and this one, all of them will have a small trait. A gamete with capital T will combine with a capital with small T at polarization to produce offspring, all of which with capital T, small t, and all of them having long inter, internet. So if we cross a for generation, then the gametes, here you will produce gametes with capital T, Others with small
even from this one you will produce garments half of which with capital T half of which with small t. At fertilization this one will meet with this one to produce capital T capital T this one may meet with this one to produce capital T small t this one who may meet with this one to produce capital T small t or this one may meet with this one to produce small t small t we say that a dominant trait will mask a recessive trait so all of these ones have got longo internode this one has got shorty inter node in a ratio one to three three to to one the cross can can also be illustrated by a planet square so for f1 generation this one the sign mean is male male and this one is a sign for for female so we say that f1 generation had capital t and small t so it can produce two gametes one with capital t one for small t and also the female can also produce gametes one for capital t one for small t so when capital T is with capital T, you can have an offspring with capital T, capital T, or capital T, or capital T, small T, or capital T, small T, or small T, small T. So we can see that whatever has a capital T produces a plant with long internode, so you can have three. P plants with long internal, long internal to one plant, one P plant with short inter. One pea plant with short internal. In terms of probability, the three chances of producing a pea plant with long internal to one chance of producing a pea plant with short internal in F2 generation. Mendel's laws of inheritance. The first law of segregation states that. An organism's characteristic is controlled by two genes, alleles, and only one can be carried by a gamete. Two, second law of independent assortment. During the formation of a zygote from gametes, alleles combine with one another randomly. For instance, capital T can combine with capital T, or capital T can combine with small t, or small t can combine with small t to form a zygote. And this is done randomly. Breeding true. Phenotypically, an organism with the general type capital T, capital T, all capital T, small t are the same. When organisms with the same alleles, i.e. capital T, capital T, all small t, small t are crossed, they produce all offsprings with similar phenotypes as their parents. Thus, organisms with capital T, capital T, all small t, small t are said to be Homozygous. When organisms with dissimilar alleles 
For example, capital T and small t are crossed. They produce offsprings with mixed phenotypes. In this case, P's with long internod and P's with short internod. And organisms with dissimilar genes or alleles in a pair are said to be heterozygous. Organisms with similar alleles are said to breed true because all the offsprings have the same phenotypes as the parents. Test cross. This is the crossing of an organism homozygous recessive genotype with an individual showing dominant trait to determine its genotype whether homozygous or heterozygous. The mozygous individual produce all offspring with dominant character. While heterozygous individual produce offspring of mixed character. For instance, if an organism is homozygous dominant is crossed with an organism homozygous recessive all offsprings will have dominant traits if an organism is heterozygous is crossed with an organism which is homozygous recessive then the offsprings will either have a dominant trait or a recessive trait Baka cross. This is the cross between hybrids of F1 generation with one of the parents or an organism genetically equivalent to the parents with the aim of increasing genetic contribution of one of the parents to the offspring. Examples of monohybrid inheritance in a man. One is albinism. An albino is a person in a human being where the individual fails to produce skin pigment called melanin. So albino have got light skin, white hair, and pink eyes. If A is gene for normal skin normal skin and A is gene for albino so the carrier carrier parents will have gene is AA and A, A. So each parent has got a possibility of forming garments that is A, A, A or A and the capital A or small A. During fertilization, garment with gene capital A can combine with a garment with gene capital A to form an offspring of gene capital A, capital A. All capital A can combine with small A, all capital A can combine with small A, all small A can combine with small A. So these children will have normal skin, normal skin, and this one will be an albino. So the three chances of carrier parents produce children with normal skin and one chance of producing a child who is an albino. So when you produce an albino, don't blame anybody. Just know you are a carrier and your partner is a carrier. Two, sickle cell anemia. An individual with sickle cell anemia produce red blood cells with sickle shape, having the ability to carry oxygen. 
and this makes an individual unable to survive if S is gene for normal cell normal for normal blood cell and small S small S is gene for sickle cells then carrier parents, carrier parents will have capital S, small S, and capital S, small S. Each one will be able to have the ability of producing gametes, which is capital S and small S, then capital S and small S. Then the offspring. Offspring will have capital S, capital S, then capital S, small S, then capital S, small S, then small S, small S. So, three chances that they have normal blood, normal blood and one chance that the offspring has got sickle cells. It is advisable before you marry or produce a child to go for a sickle cell test. Codominance is a condition in the animal where the offspring show intermediate character. For example, when a white cow is mated with the red bull or vice versa, a loam of spring is produced. In this case, a gene for each character is represented by a capital red. R for red and then W for white. Then the parents Phenotype. This is red against white. Then parent genotype will be R and R capital letters times W. M was W and W capital letters. Then the gametes will be capital R and then capital W. Then the offspring will be R and W and this one will be lone. Incomplete Dominance is a condition in plants where offspring show intermediate character. For example, when a white flowered plant is crossed with a red flowered plant, plants with pink flowers are produced. Again, in this case, a gene for each character is represented by a capital letter. So R for red color in the flowers then W is a gene for white color in the flowers. So the cross will look like this parent phenotype we have white against red then parent genotype 
will be capital W and this will be capital R capital R then the gametes we have capital W and capital R then the offspring this two will meet at the fertilization to form capital W and capital R and the flowers will be pink sexy determination the sex is determined by two chromosomes y chromosome and x chromosome man's genotype is xy heterosome hetero different chromosome then the female's phenotype is xx or auto some auto similar chromosome so during the transmission parents we have male and female parent phenotype we have xy for male then x x for female then gametes a man can either produce gametes with X or gametes with Y. A female produces similar gametes, each one with X. So the offspring, then we have XX, which is a girl, or XY who is a boy. So the chances of having a half girl, half a boy. Multiple alleles. Here, more than two alleles control a character. For example, three alleles, I, A, I, B, I, O, control blood groups. Allelo, I, A, and I capital B are codominant, but each is dominant over allelo IO. However, only two of these can be present in an individual giving four types of blood groups. So the possible genotype and the phenotype. When a person has got allelo IA and IB to have a blood group AB. Because allele IA and allele IB are codominant. If a person has got allele IA, IA, or IA and IO, then we have blood group A. If a person has got allele IB, IB, or IB, IO, we will have blood group B. And if a person has got an allele IO and IO, then we will have blood group Oh, if we look at the cross between a parent with blood group A and blood group B, then you can have parent genotype, then you can have IA, IO, then IB, IO, then the gametes, we can have I A I O then the gametes I B I O then when we close we can have I A I B I A I O I O I B I O I O group A A B A B and O if a person of blood group A 
marries a person of blood group B, then has a probability of producing offspring of each of the blood groups. We have if a person of blood group O marries a person of blood group O, then the genotype IO, 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 then the gametes, gametes is IO, IO, then the offspring will be IO, IO, then blood group, blood group of offspring will be O. If two parents with blood group O marry, all the children must be blood group O. Previously before, the DNA technique was developed. We could say that if you find a child with blood group which is not O, with the parents each of blood group O in a family, then that child does not belong to that family. However, Using blood groups to confirm the parent of a child is no longer used because a sensitive method of using DNA has been developed. But previously they used to use blood groups to confirm that the child is, belongs to the parent. But we saw that with blood group A and B, you can never use that method to determine whether a parent or knows a child. Thank you so much for listening to this video. The next video will be genetics lesson 2 of 2. Please find related videos on YouTube channel Digital Teachers Uganda. You go to YouTube, where, where there is a search, type in Digital Teachers Uganda and enter. Then you will be given categories of educational videos. Or you can visit our website for notes and videos. Any, any physics, chemistry, biology, math and other subjects. Please do me a favor and subscribe. Subscription is free. Just click subscription button, put in your email and enter and it will be done. You can share our YouTube channel and our website with your friends.